Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, I'm sorry, it's been a while since we've done some uh, reviews. Got a lot of stuff in the, on the personal side, the professional side going on. Uh, also, text some, the Texas Sommelier Conference uh, a couple weeks ago. So, a um, lot of stuff going on, and, and uh, not necessarily wanting to take a break, but just kind of ended up that way, taking a, taking a break of reviews. I'm still working on the, uh, the Skype interview. Uh, that went bad with the uh, no video, so it's going to be an audio only thing, and uh, I will get that up on there. All right, so let's uh, let's get into this real quick. As you can see, um, let's kind of move a few things out of the way. So this is my first podcast since uh, Gary uh, Vaynerchuk has decided to stop his daily grape stuff. So in honor of Gary uh, and, and the inspiration that he's given me and. Uh, Many of the other video wine bloggers, so there aren't many of us out there, uh, and just many of the just regular wine bloggers that started after him, um, kind of in honor of him, uh, the influence that he's had on, on this on, on group the group of us that were influenced by him. Not everybody is, um, but uh, I've got my original uh, official Vaniac T-shirt on. I've got the original wristband going, so we're gonna rock the shirt and wristband today in honor of Gary. Um, wish him all the best of luck in the rest of his endeavors. We know he's not leaving wine. He's just not doing daily wine, um, daily wine videos. Um, I can't remember when I started watching. It was like around episode 200 something. Um, but I did go back and watch some of the older ones, especially some of the classics. And, uh, yeah, and then daily grape. So let's go ahead and get into this. Um, now what we're doing here is we've got a pairing of, um, we're going to do a pairing. I was starving at home. And I was like, man, I gotta get some wines done. I thought about going out and having you know dinner with wine. I'm like, I got wine at home. I just have to review it. And if I can make anything, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go try this Five Guys Burger and Fries. It's by the house. Um, They've been around, I guess, especially in the DC area for a long time. Uh, they've been in San Antonio at least for a couple of years. From looking at the little review things they have all over the place in there. So. Um, I figured I'd try it out, so I got myself a double cheeseburger, bacon cheese, I'm sorry, bacon, a bacon cheeseburger, uh, and I'm pretty simple when it comes to burgers, I just put mustard pickles on it, got the bacon, and uh, got these Cajun fries, which are pretty spicy, so I'm pretty excited about that, I've already chomped on those, um, so we're going to pair that up, I got some ketchup and I got some vinegar, uh, my East Coast roots, my Jersey Shore roots. Um, with matter of fact, there's a kid and uh, father and son next to me at the table waiting on their order, and the dad brings up over some vinegar. I hadn't been over to the Condon area yet, and uh, he's like vinegar, and the kid goes, "What's that for?" He goes, "For the fries." So, um, dad's raising his kid right. All right, so let's uh, let's get into the wine first, um, and then we'll do then we'll do some eating here. I'm freaking starving. All right, so here's what I got. I've got the Hoya de Catina. The Cadenas. Now, there's no tilde over the uh, end, so I don't think it's Cadenas. Um, so we're going to say Cadenas. Uh, the Reserva Tempranillo. This is from Spain. Uh, the actual DO is the Util Recaina. Again, no tilde over the end, so maybe it may be Recaina, but on their website, they don't have the little squiggly line. Uh, this is a 100% Tempranillo. Uh, this is the 2006 vintage. Um, I don't think they have the vintage on their website listed. And um, the producer is uh, Vicente uh, uh, Gandia. So, um, and they have a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're going to try it out. Uh, like I said, 100% Tempranillo. And according to the website, they age it in uh, American oak for 12 months. And um, let's check it out. First of all, I'm pretty excited. You know, Tempranillo is one of those great little varietals that... Uh, um, you know, you don't always think about, you don't always think, um, when you think about wines, uh, it seems to be kind of lost a lot, even with 
lost in like the Shahoim with Siraz and, and, and Malbex, you know, you kind of like give Tempranillo a try because it's it's pretty tasty uh, wine usually. All right, so let's check it out. Oh, by the way, it's $9.98 at Central Market. We'll get a little close up there again. Uh, that's the uh, kind of the higher end HEB uh, stores. I don't want to spill any of that stuff. I thought I spilled the vinegar in the bag. All right, so it's, it's I get mostly the red fruits uh, off of this. I don't get much vegetal or anything like that off. It's mostly a fruit forward nose. Maybe a little candy fied, like I get that, that chemical type of um, smell from like a candied, you know, candy, you know, right, right, you know, a candied candy. I, I'm now getting a little bit of green, I guess. Um, it, it's, it's, Nothing in your face. It doesn't like you know. Doesn't really come out at you, but uh, it's a pleasant nose. Let's see how it tastes. So it's pretty light body wine. Um, it doesn't really have a whole lot of tannins going on. It's got a little bit of acid to it. Um, I'm getting kind of a somewhat of a cherry, but maybe a little strawberry action with that. Um, Tasting you know, those same vanilla. I get the vanilla that's from the oak. I'm getting some of that white and black pepper type of uh, flavors on the palate. Um, it's it's not a deep wine. Let's put it that way. Um, I'm starting to get uh, the fruit flavors more on the back end. Um, it's a uh, it's tasty. I like it a lot, but it has a pretty short finish. Um, it's it's kind of <coughs> pardon me. Probably covered it enough. Um, I almost said the white and black pepper in there. But um, it's got a pretty short finish. Um, not a really lingering finish at all. Um, it feels kind of thin. Like I said, it's pretty light body. So um, I'm used to it being, my experience with Tempranillo is a little bit heavier body. But uh, that might be what they're going for. Uh, on the nose again, I'm getting more of that, that vanilla and that cherry coming through. And not as much as that chemical stuff, so that's blown off a little bit. Even though it's a 2006, it doesn't taste old, but it's, it's a little thin, so maybe it's kind of nearing the end of its drinkability right now. Um, we're going to go ahead and pair it up. Uh, score wise, I don't know, it's, it's pretty solid. I mean, solid in the sense it's a light-bodied one. Uh, I'd probably give it like an 85. So now we're going to pair this up with the food. Hi! I've got three viewers now. By the way, I'm, I've got uh, Ustream going. Let's see where I'm... Oh, cool. Not too bad. All right, so we're going to delve into this burger. Anyone in the chat room? No one's in the chat room. Um, I'm going to check out this burger. It smelled really good in there. They have like free peanuts you can munch on. They're all right. They weren't like spectacular peanuts. Uh, one thing I did notice, they have like a little sign that tells you where their um, potatoes came from. I guess what, what part of the country they bought the potatoes that they use for their fries because they make them fresh every day from what I saw. And then we've got my oil, my vinegar, all this stuff, and my ketchup for my fries. All right, so let's try out the burger. Oh, 
You have to realize, it's probably been about 30 minutes since I've gotten the burger. But, you know, it doesn't taste like every other fast food burger. It's pretty good. I mean, kind of like the old... The other burger franchise that's in town that's kind of making you know a little little splash of smash burger they're good burgers um i think i'd rather have this than maybe some of the other fast food fare out there i wouldn't necessarily i mean again, i know it's kind of an older burger um i mean it's kind of old as far as like i didn't get it just fresh off the off the grill but uh it's pretty good i wouldn't necessarily say that it's Spectacular, the best burger I've ever had, but now putting it with the tempranillo, I was actually a little worried that it might be too heavy for the burger because I've got a bunch of other wines. I've got some Cabernets, got some Zins. Uh, I've also got we're gonna do this in a little bit. We've got a, uh, a Dornfelder, but that's like a kind of a medium sweet red, so I don't. Think it would really go well with the burger. It might if you had like the barbecue type of thing or picnic type of thing. But uh, it's pretty good. Uh, the Cajun fries, these are good. I was munching on these on the way home. I mean, they're cold now. But we want to see how this this pairing goes with, this, with the Cajun spicy. That's a nice little, nice little contrast because there's not so much spices. I think, I mean, there's some of that, that, that pepper, you know, the white black pepper type of stuff in the wine. We get in the Cajun spices. That's pretty good. I mean, it's a good combination. I mean, i definitely do it again, you know, with this particular wine, with this burger, or, or that kind of stuff. I mean, burgers and wine. Nothing wrong with that, right? No. All right. That's pretty good. Well, I'm going to wrap this up. we got five guys near you. Check it out. Again, I'm not going to say it's the best burger I've ever had. Um, I mean, I've had some pretty darn good burgers in my life. Uh, and this is pretty good. I mean, uh, I definitely wouldn't... Uh, I definitely would go back and, uh, and have more. And... Uh, And just pairing it with the wine. I think it's a good pairing. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap this up. Now, again, uh, Gary, uh, you've been a great inspiration. And uh, I'm glad that uh, uh, you kind of gave me some inspiration to do my stuff. And put it on Facebook. So um, good stuff with that. Uh, hope you all the best. I'm sure what's going to happen is the next thing you're going to do is about to buy the Jets. That's really why you, you stopped doing the Dan and Gray. Or was it so I can take over? That's what it was. I can have the domination of the video, wine video, right? Um, but uh, no, it's uh, uh, it was great to uh, to watch you and develop and, and grow. Uh, hopefully, that I'm doing the same thing. So, wish you all the best of luck. Uh, got the Vaniac shirt going on now. As far as uh, pimping my site, by the way, Gary, thank you again also for uh, retweeting the Skype stuff. If you want to do Skype, um, my next month is going to be pretty tied up doing Skype uh, based on my schedule. I'm going to France in a couple weeks. Uh, so I've got a whole week that I won't be doing any Skype. I've already got two other wineries lined up. We already have the wine. We're just trying to figure out when I can do it. Um, and then there's going to be another person that's already interested. So, um, But definitely contact me. We'll figure out a, a good day and time to do this stuff. Um, you know, I just need the one wine. I've had some wineries send me like three, four wines. That's great. I love it. But I only need the one. But hey, if you're going to give me three wines, I'm not going to complain. Um, then uh, just, you know, the website, if you're not watching us on the website, stop by the website. Uh, you can see all the other episodes. Uh, there's going to be, there's links to the, to the wines, mostly, especially the last, I don't say 50 or so episodes. These wineries are now actually on online instead of like, I can't find anything. Uh, so there's links below to take you to the wineries, basically where I, where I look for my research. Um, and uh, i got a sommelier school there, which is pretty much on hiatus right now until I get off, until I get back from France. Um, got, you know, other stuff to check out, things, you know, resources and all those stuff. If you want to donate to the show, help pay for the wine, that's cool. And, uh, that's going to do it. Um, hope, uh, you enjoyed the show. Got the, uh, 
the three, two, whatever viewers. Okay, there were three. Well, including one was me. So there were two other viewers, and I was the only one. Thank you for staying if you're the same person. And uh, I'm going to finish this burger. I'm going to finish this glass of wine. I'm going to relax for a minute. And then I'm going to review the other five wines I've had for tonight. Uh, two of them from the same from the same winery. And uh, we're going to call it the... We're going to wrap it up. Thanks again. We'll see everybody in next time.